I would like to talk to you about your car extended warranty. How, 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 how did you know I was about to, wait, were you watching this whole time? No. Just do it! Forget celibacy. If you want to get stronger, do, do it. it! Morning, noon, and night. Do, do it! it! Before and after every meal, do, do it! Do it! Do it! it! Body aches. Yujiro has so much to teach us about father-son relationships. His nuanced approach to fatherhood, showing up randomly to belittle Baki, while completely ghosting Jack, really keeps you guessing which son is messing up more. No, really, which one's more messed up, I'm asking you. So you might think I'm being too harsh, which actually I don't, I don't think anybody would actually think that. I mean, after all, Yujiro treats both sons equally, and that's commendable. Yeah, just look at how it didn't discriminate when delivering a beatdown. Here is hoping Baki and Jack get equal domestic balance. No favorites. Such a fair and balanced guy, isn't he? Not to mention, he really did let Jack's mom off easy. I mean, he didn't give her the forbidden hug, which is, um, a low bar, I guess. Good. You might want to chop that up to tough love that he's beating his son into men. Warriors even. Well, what's that you say? His physical and emotional toughening up exercise are just to build character. Huh. That's cute. He has basically bitten them both so badly. DJ Khaled would chant his they don't want you to win. Let me touch you to a really good Khaled. They don't want you to win. Seriously, don't even try. That that was... Anyways, so in preparation of what I'm about to drop, just remember this. Yujiro beats both his son, but not equally. He's got favorites. And oh boy, does it make it clear. While Jack spending his life in the lab, metaphorically and almost literally, trying to bulk up on whatever chemical cocktail he can find to get daddy's attention. Baki's just living his life, fighting for his dad's attention. Jack's like the kid in the class trying to get the teacher's gold star, except the teacher doesn't even know he's enrolled. So brace yourself, what's coming next is the reveal of Millennium, or at least enough to keep your jaw on the floor for a few seconds. Or just don't, we can't do a Luffy here. Yujiro's parenting choices don't just put border on the absurd. They've jumped over the border and set up a permanent resonance. So let's start with wardrobe choices. When Yujiro decided to court back his mom, he actually dressed up. Between finding time to beat the US and beating everyone he can find, getting a suit this clean is in fact very impressive. He also decided that beating her up was a better display of affection because he missed beating up more people to find his suit. Romance is really not dead, it's just severely traumatized by that guy. And speaking of traumatized, let's talk about Baki's accolades. The kid broke world record in running and weightlifting as a toddler. He's really a prodigy. But Yujiro, ever the sporty father, shows up just to call Baki trash. He compared Baki word-breaking accomplishments to his own made-up feats of lifting mountains and beating up polar bears. Actually, he did beat up polar bears. Good on him. So wholesome. And that makes you want to stick him with that world best dad mug, right? No, because for Jack, it's actually even worse. You'd think getting ignored would be better than getting belittled. But no, Yujiro takes it up a notch. He wasn't even there to insult Jack or compare him to his mythical achievements. I mean, you really have to exist in someone's world to disappoint them. As far as Yujiro is concerned, Jack was not even there. Literally, he didn't know he existed. And let's not forget about birthdays. When Baki turned 13, Yujiro decided to challenge him to a fight. Because that's what you do. And not some light sparring or arm wrestling match. We're talking about a full blown out beatdown, people. The one where you show up and stop an earthquake thinking that your son might beat you. You stopped an earthquake. What was Baiki thinking? That was basically Rijiro's version of, hey kiddo, happy birthday. Here, instead of a birthday cake, how about a side of humiliation? Lovey, right? And Jack? Let's let's not even talk about him because that's, that's just sad at this point. But we can switch up gears and talk about extracurricular activities. Because that's where I can show you that Yujiro excels in creepy dad of the year. So like most dads, showing up at their kid's baseball game is an obligation. Yujiro, he shows up. Not to cheer, but to observe and intimidate. 
Actually, he fights too. When he showed up at the Maximum Tournament, he was just to show off his hair floating skills and to make you look deep into his demon black eyes. Um, I think it was a reminder that back is back, he's just normal and he'll never beat polar bears like him. And as for Jack, he well could have just won, won the Olympics and Yujiro would have not given a flying because in back his word, that's just the thing they do. Now the cherry on top of this messed up cake is morning, noon, and night. Do, do it! it! Before and after every meal. Do, do it! it! Do, do it! Your body aches. But for Jack, Yujiro's one lesson was how to bite properly during the fight. Nothing about emotional intelligence, financial planning, or even basic survival skills. Just biting. A life skill that would last him for ever i mean actually that's pretty good not gonna lie you need to know how to bite so what's the tally yujiro's active involvement in baki's life is less about cultivating his skills and more about being a stalker and let's not forget reminding him that he's nothing yet and for jack yujiro's neglect is a different kind of poison one that kind of says you're not even worth my side eye Oh, and you're asking how could it get worse, but it can, because nothing says I care like forcing your sons into a never-ending battle for your acknowledgement. Baki gets these tits bits of very useful wisdom here and there, these golden nuggets that are about as useful as sandpaper in a toilet. It would work, it's just gonna be really tough. You'd think a father would be proud of his son, and for Jack, it's like trying to get water from stone. The poor guy can't even get a disapproving glance from Daddy Yujiro, and you have to wonder what is worse. A father who shows up to remind you that you'll never measure up, or that who doesn't even know you exist. And with that, I'd like to imagine that you laughed at this, and if you did, see you in the next one. Alright, bye.